Oh, it's a pal is everybody out there doing today? Guys, everybody loves budget videos. Budget videos. I haven't done a budget video in quite a while, but I know a lot of people like to hear budget videos. How much am I going to need uh, to live? How much am I going to spend? Uh, so today we're going to do a budget video. Guys, we're a family of four. Two adults, two teenage daughters, all right? Today's peso rate, it fluctuates around 55 pesos on the U.S. dollar. Uh, some days it jumps a little higher, other days it drops below. Uh, but anyways, I'm going to go over our budget. This is our living budget. How much we spend in food and groceries and utilities, just different things like that. Like I said, everybody's budget is going to be different. It's all based on how much you can, how much you want to spend and can afford to spend. Um, so yeah, let's jump right into it. Rent, rent is one of the things, guys. Depending on where you live, depends on how big of a house you want, an apartment, a condo. Rent here is cheaper than back in the states. It is. Uh, we have a two bedroom, two bath, two port car garage. Not necessarily a garage, but a two port uh, garage that we. I pull my car, my motorcycle underneath. It's enclosed uh, on the roof, not on the sides. A wet kitchen, a laundry room outside, an inside kitchen, living room, dining room, office space. Let me think, what else? It's a house by itself. One story house by itself. Um, and we spend 22,000 22, pesos a month. That's about, well, it is, it's 400 US dollars a month. Like I said, depends on the individual, how you wanna live, <clears throat> what type of living situation you want. Uh, the next is groceries. Groceries is one of our bigger expenses every month. <clears throat> when I mean groceries, I'm talking about, we go to three different places to shop. My wife will go up to the big Palenque market, that's the big market, open market, uh, she'll pick up chicken up there. She picks up some pork up there. She picks up a lot of fruits and vegetables up there because things are cheaper. Um, things like that. And then we shop at SNR. SNR is like a Costco. We pick a few different things up there um, because it's bulk. We'll buy like bulk laundry detergent. Um, what else? There's a few things there that I like to get. Some of the meats are a better cut that I get from there. I pick up cheeses up there. I pick up butter there. It's just certain things that we buy there that we can't find at the market. And like I said, bulk, bulk items. And then we shop over at the grocery store inside the mall. That's where we pick up the other things like coffee, um, deodorants, toothpaste, soaps, uh, paper towels, toilet paper, you know, all the things that you buy at the grocery store. Some things I don't mind buying Filipino products. Then there's other things I just can't. I got to have French's, mu French's mustard. I got to have Heinz ketchup. I got to have A1. You've got to pick and choose the things that you want and other things you're willing to settle with. Toilet paper. It's got to be good toilet paper. Not that paper thin toilet paper when when you're done, you got all the clingers. You know what I mean? Certain things like that, I will spend extra money on. Um, but all our household products, all our groceries, the total bill this month came to 25000 547 pesos or $464.49. Remember, four of us live here. And you know, girls, they got to have the extra things. So that's in there also. Our water bill. I'm talking just our water bill to wash dishes, uh, to water the plants with, to take showers in. That's the water I'm talking about. And it fluctuates. 
but this month it was 1,200 pesos or $21.81. That's cheap. Water can be cheap here. Cable bill. We have just simple cable. Um, what I mean, simple cable, we just have the internet. Uh, we don't have a TV. Uh, we don't have TV channels. We have simple internet. It's not the high package. It's not the low package. Um, but simple internet is 2,500 pesos a month, 45 hours and 45 cents. Uh, Hannah Grace's tuition. We sent Hannah Grace to a private school. Her tuition is 2,100 pesos a month or roughly $39. Now this month, we had to pay for her, her enrollment for next month or for the following year, 10th grade. So we paid a little more because of her enrollment. And then she needs extra things for the start of the new year. So for this month, we paid 9,100 pesos. All right, that was the enrollment fee and extra things that she needs as far as paper and pens and books and um, notebooks and things like that. So we are looking at $165.45. Uh, and her allowance, Hannah Grace's allowance, because she starts school in the morning. She's there all day. She has to eat lunch there every day. Uh, you're looking at 4,000 pesos a month, about $72.72. That's with her eating there at lunch and a few little snacks. Bing, bing. Old bing, bing. She doesn't, her school is in the morning, so she doesn't eat lunch there. However, we did give her money for snacks when they have break. Hers is 2,400 pesos a month or $43.63. Like I said, she does not eat lunch there. She comes home and she's done by one o'clock. So she eats here. Um, our housemaid, we have a housemaid. She's here every day. Um, she eats here. Um, when we, if we go away, she'll be here with the kids while we're gone. Um, if she needs a day off, we give her days off. We give her holidays off. Um, she does also, we also give her food to take home. Um, we, we take care of her um, and we pay her 10,000 pesos a month or $181.81. Like I said, we do give her extra when she does stay here overnight if we go away. Um, but yes, that's what we pay for the housemaid. Electric guys, the electric bill, it, 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 it sickens me. And I am not the only one in Angeles City here that talks about it. Remember, we live in Angeles City. It's sickening. It's called price gouging at 100%. You cannot shop around for electric here. Doesn't happen. Oh, let me go over to Dao and let me get Dao electric company. Does not happen. You are paying the electric company here. And if you don't pay the electric company, well, they just shut you off. Now, what do we have running? I have an electric hot water in our shower. I have a TV like everybody else. Of course, laptops, computers, your typical plug-in uh, for your phone charging, um, air condition. We have one air condition that runs. It's an invert air condition that cools off the living room, dining room, and the office area. I have an air conditioner in the bedroom. I have an air conditioner in the girls' bedrooms. They do not run except for at night. During the day, I turn off the invert air condition here in the living room. I don't turn that invert air condition on till about 11 o'clock in the morning. It runs to about 6, and then I shut it off. I have a newer refrigerator, American-style refrigerator. It's big. It's not small. However, it's energy efficient according to what they tell me. <laughs> I have an American-style washer. Energy efficient according to what they tell me. We do not cook with electric. We use gas. Um, I run a, a light outside every night an outside light, 
Beyond that, most of the time the lights are off, but your typical house, right? Nothing big, nothing huge. But guys, our electric bill this past month was 16,957 pesos or $308 and 30 cents. Another hundred dollars, that's rent. Electric will get you here. It will. But we choose to live our lifestyle like you choose to live the type of lifestyle you want to live if you're here. All right, let's move on to drinking water. Talking about drinking water, the blue jugs you get um, or the big jugs you get that you drink and you use. They're only like 25 pesos a jug. Um, we go through about 100 pesos a week. So you're looking at 400 pesos for the month worth of water. Uh, <clears throat> $7.27. <clears throat> Can't beat that. Trash guy. We have a guy that comes around twice a week, sometimes three times a week. He's our trash guy. It's not no big truck coming around, and you don't have to put all your recyclables out. Uh, you don't have to do anything like that. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. He's our trash guy. We pay him 200 pesos a month. And what is our trash guy? $3.63. Then I have the grass guy. I have my own grass guy. No, not that kind of grass guy. <laughs> this guy comes around. He's got a weed whacker. Um, he rakes everything up. He bags everything. He does a great job. And, um, you know, of course, he's got a little bit more gas he's got to use. Um, but I pay him 300 pesos every time he comes out and cuts it. And that's my mistake. I went high one time. And, uh, of course, he accepted it. Could I go lower? Yes, but 300 pesos. This guy does an amazing job. $5.45. Um, gas. I'm talking about gas. Like I said, we don't have an electric stove to cook on. Propane. We, br we have a propane bottle. We have a four burner stove with two electric um, burners on it that we don't use. I have an oven, a nice size oven, big enough to stick a turkey in, and uh, but we use propane. The advantage of that is if you do have a brownout, you can still cook. Uh, so the propane tank, usually every other month or so, we're getting one. And I think we just bought one recently, uh, but that's 680 pesos or $12.36. Now, that's all your just living expenses, right? Water, electric, cable, um, you know what I'm saying? Your living expenses just to live. Groceries and buying toothpaste and toilet paper. You're living. You're living things. Now, let's talk about miscellaneous. Miscellaneous, going out to eat, all right? Um me having breakfast, uh, me driving by somewhere and saying, hey, let me grab some fruits. Miscellaneous, me going to the mall. Oh, let me get that. Miscellaneous, I'm talking about my habit that I do. I won't say it, uh, but my habit that I do. And thank God that's the only bad habit. I don't drink. I don't party. I don't, that's not my thing. Um, miscellaneous. Uh, Say the girls want to go get their nails done, get their hair done, just miscellaneous. You know what I'm saying. Um, we allow 400 extra 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 dollars more a month, or 22,000 pesos more a month for miscellaneous. Lut brings in her own money. She has her own YouTube channel. If you haven't checked it out. Lutz Diary Adventures in the Philippines. That's my wife's YouTube channel. So she brings a little extra money in every month doing that. And with that, you know, she'll take the girls here. And that's not in our budget, but she'll take the girls, maybe go get some extra clothes. Uh, like I said, get nails done, hair done, 
Um, just, you know, girly things. You know what I'm talking about, girly things. Also, for um, if Hannah Grace needs to go somewhere, she wants to go somewhere with her friends to the mall, uh, you give her extra money for that, extra money to transportation, same way with Bing Bing, extra transportation or money for transportation, extra money for her to go to the mall with her friends. That kind of just kind of all falls in with that miscellaneous. Um, so there it is. If I miss anything, I apologize, but that's pretty much it. Guys, I am not talking about any of our trips in this budget. We do go places, um, sometimes with the family to different places. Look, and I will go to different places. I am not talking about that. That is a completely separate money. But that's what we live off of a month. Sometimes more, sometimes less. But the total bill that we spend for pesos is 117,284 pesos. Or convert that into the US dollar, the great US of America, United States of American dollar, $2,132.30. That's our budget. All right, so I hope that gives you an idea about you know what we spend here for a family of four. Like I said, two, two, two adults, two teenage girls, daughters, cousins uh, <laughs> living here. Um, like I said, it's all up to the individual. If you're single living here, it's going to be a hell of a lot less. If you're married have multiple kids it's going to be more if you married and you have a young child it's going to be different uh, but there it is hope that helps you out anybody out uh, like i said people do like budget videos they do and uh i figured i would share our budget with everybody and uh i hope it helps somebody out gives people an idea of of uh what to expect like i said your biggest expenses are going to be rent, which is not really that bad. Uh, food, depending on what you want to eat, where you want to eat, and uh, how much you're going to eat, and electric. Those are our three big ones. So, all right. With that being said, everybody, you guys have a good night, a good evening, a good afternoon, wherever you're at, and we will talk to you later.